Hi, I'm Rachel from the stayathomechef.com. Today I'm sharing with you my secret to crock pot ribs. First up, you need to remove the chewy membrane from the ribs. Just slide your fingers along the edge and you'll feel that tough membrane come right up. Go ahead and give it a tug and I'll rip it off the rack. The membrane can be tough and chewy, so removing it makes for a more tender rib experience. Next, we'll go ahead and give those ribs a good dry rub. I like to throw on a little salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little paprika. Whatever kind of rub you like will work just fine. Just give those ribs a nice little rub down. I love using a slow cooker liner, especially with ribs. That barbecue sauce can get all caramelized, which makes for a mess. Slow cooker liners make cleanup a breeze. You can find them in your grocery store. They're usually next to things like Ziploc bags. Layer in your racks one at a time. You put a little bit of barbecue sauce on top of each rack. We won't be adding any additional liquids. The natural juices of the ribs and the barbecue sauce will be enough. We don't want to slow boil them. It's a common misunderstanding that you have to add extra liquids for your slow cooker. But don't worry, it works just fine without it. Think of it like a mini oven. I always put a little extra sauce on the top rack. Put the lid on and let your slow cooker work for you on low for a good eight to 10 hours. When they are finished, Carefully remove them from the slow cooker and put them on a baking pan. I line mine with aluminum foil for easy cleanup. Be careful because the ribs will be tender and ready to fall off the bone. Now here comes the secret part. Lather on a little extra sauce. You'll be using your oven's broil setting, which means you'll be able to place your ribs directly under a heating element. Each oven is a bit different as to how this works. The heating element will caramelize the additional sauce in just a few minutes and give the ribs a beautiful finish. Go ahead and eat up. Don't they look delicious? You can find this recipe and more at my website www.thestayathomechef.com Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more recipes, tips, and tricks in the kitchen.